All right, here I am back again with another 2016 season in review, this time of my good friend Armwork. All right, let's dive right into it. So his most played champions are Morgana, Lee Sin, Vayne, and Zed. His best map, obviously the Howling Abyss. He had an 11 to 1 KDA, which is pretty solid, I won't lie. So we go into multi-kills, and this seems a bit odd. He doesn't have any multi-kills. Well, let's just hang on. We might find out why later. So your besties. Kennen, Kha'Zix, Echo, Ezreal, and Thresh. Huh, that's weird that these pictures look a little different. Hmm. Anyways, they all they all seem to be champions that Contractor plays in those roles. That's suspicious. Maybe you just synergize best with uh, Contractor. Anyways, um... Best win rate, 86% versus Talon. That's fairly solid. Um, that's because Talon's rework obviously must have sucked. Uh, worst win rate is uh, versus LeBlanc. Obviously, LeBlanc's rework was amazing. So that's uh, evident right here just by our marks win rates. We don't need any other stats. Uh, let's see. Uh, most kills, 150 against Lee Sin. And uh, 150 deaths from Lee Sin. So looks like you're uh, pretty, pretty balanced, our mark. Um your Lee Sin showdowns must be uh, pretty tight. Lots of outplays, flashes for outplays. Uh, let's see the squad. You played the most games with Contractor, and then Perios, and then MB. 69 with MB, obviously. That's just a given. Um, let's see, highest win percent with Contractor, obviously. You assisted Contractor the most, obviously. But you were assisted by Perios the most. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see, compare Armor to the pros. Let's see, uh, Faker dies 2.13 times per game, Vixen 1.56, and Armor 6.7. Sucks, man. I don't know, man. You, you're falling short here. Anyways, going on, uh, killing Poros and dying. So we have 2,654 kills, respectable. 2,739 deaths. Okay, that's fairly close. And zero assists. But you fed 7,661 Poros, so that's pretty darn impressive. Going on to the jungle, never killed Baron. Earliest Baron taken, none. Never killed any minions. Nick, Armork must be uh, hyper aggressive. He's never, he's never farmed a single time in his life. That's pretty impressive that he's won that many games and got that many kills. Uh, look at this, he's got 750 dunks. Must be playing champions like uh, Darius or Lee Sin or maybe even just a Morgana Flash Ult for classy dunk kills. Um, dragons, whatever. Nobody cares about dragon. Oh, but interestingly, they are exactly opposite of contractors, so they must uh, play against each other and fight over dragon a lot. Uh, Morgana, lots of Q casts, more W casts. Uh, that's pretty. You got to get this up here, man. Seventeen ninety nine, seventy two eighty six. You should get. You should reverse these. The spell shield is the best ability on Morgana. Just take spell shield at level one, max spell shield, just like Sivir. Just like Sivir, you'll be golden. And then six hundred seventy-eight uh, old casts. Okay. Let's see. Most played roles. Uh, it seems as though he's played every role exactly the same amount. I don't even know what all six of these roles are. Why are there six? I don't know. I have no idea. But if we ca if we add them all together, oh, there we go. It told me. Assassin, fighter, mage, marksman, support. And tank. Okay, but if we add them all together, it seems as though there's 110 percent. So Armoric must put a put a whole lot of effort into every game to get 110 percent played. And most played game modes is custom one v ones. That seems as though that's the only thing he ever does. That explains everything. That explains the no barons. That explains the no assists. The KDA. Everything. Looks like all of these stats are just from his custom one v ones. Well, Armoric, it's time to get back on the rift. And I will see you next time.